Hey everybody, yes I do have it, the Astro Chain EU only collector's edition finally came on the west coast of California to me all the way from England or wherever the hell it came from in Europe, but I'm excited to get into this unboxing because it is one of the biggest games out for the Nintendo Switch right now, it came out on August 30th, the creators of Nier Atma, of uh, Demo May Cry and Bayonetta all worked on this game, it looks amazing, it actually got so many good reviews that people started bombing it for bad reviews and then other people started bombing it for good reviews so now it has good reviews I'm pretty sure Metacritic took out all the bad reviews and everything but it is supposed to be an awesome game so yes those three people are the creators of this collector's edition but before we get to this unboxing I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one and game reviews later in the future so let's get into it okay so first I really want to point out guys the shipping process that I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon it was about $60 with a $5 shipping for some reason I have no idea but this is probably the best shipping I've ever got from them. It was wrapped in a plastic and then I'm pretty sure it's also wrapped in a plastic cover box to keep the actual collector's edition safe itself and I was really happy about that because all the way from EU guys all the way onto the west coast of the US it would have taken a really long time but I love taking out that fresh plastic. Ooh look at how shiny this is guys. Ooh brand new right out of the box. So shiny. Now we got this nice little plastic cover that actually has the designs on it but it's fine if this gets banged up because it's just the corners. It's actually the box I really want to keep in intact most of the time. But this whole box itself, guys, it is massive. It's the size of my head down to my nips, pretty much. <laughs> I didn't, really didn't know when to measure on that. But uh, the box is just plain by itself. All the art is on the front. I like how it does that because it leaves the box with a little bit more mystery than it actually does. Um, now we're going to open up this box for you right now. I'm pretty sure it just slides open of what I've known for so far. But uh, I don't want everything to fall out, so this should be an awesome slow unboxing for you guys. I really don't want it to fall out. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Are we good? Oh, we're stuck. Oh, it stops. <laughs> okay, so you can't really pull these out all the way. They just stop, which actually is pretty nice, so you don't lose any of the parts of the collector's edition unboxing. Um, but first, you have the nice plated uh, art uh, cover art, whatever you guys want to call it, art piece. Uh, mine is 23,010 out, or 19,568 out of 23,010. That is a lot of collector's editions. So that's the first thing in the box. And then I'm pretty sure we have a CD soundtrack, the game, and then the biggest part of this box was the actual book. I'm pretty sure it's 152 pages, but the CD right here, you got that right. Oh, oh, it's a little sticky on the CD. Okay, cool. I think that was just to keep the actual CD in place. Here's the game that I'm pretty sure everyone's picked up by now. But then you got the book right here, guys. A big, big book. Oh gosh, I don't want to screw up anything. Uh, but it's not hardcover. It's a nice soft cover book. Um, it has like a loose sleeve. Yep, I'm pretty sure it's like a, a little uh, page sleeve for it. But we're going to get this guy set up. Get this guy set up. <laughs> we're going to get this all set up for you guys. And we're going to jump right into it. All right, so these guys were being a little bit hard-headed because I couldn't get them to stand up, but we'll get into the CD first. It actually didn't come with a plastic cover wrap. Uh, that's probably why it came with that sticker. It left a little uh, mark right there, but I do love the image on the front and back side of this art cover uh, CD. Uh, it, they used imagery and ideas from uh, Ghost in the Shell because this game is supposed to be set around 2078 when the human race is declining and these aliens come and attack you, but I'll get into that later. Um, but opening this CD case up, I really want to show you guys probably what's cool on the inside because this cover art's awesome on the outside and okay cover art on the cd is better than it is actually on the inside of the cover case i really like this blue on the cd it actually adds accent because you use like this blue whip uh when you're playing astral chain as one of your attacks but uh this is a sound selection music it pretty sh i'm pretty sure this has all the music on it because it's 31 tracks so that is really really cool and then finally on the back side they have the same image on the cd as they do on the backside cover art where the cd uh covers so getting from that cd i actually enjoyed it i'm really excited to listen to this music we're gonna get into this game this game is actually guys i've heard it's amazing like i haven't heard any bad things about it you play as a twin and you use these twins to go around and uh attack these chimeras who are coming down to earth and pretty much trying to destroy uh all of humankind and you guys are pretty much almost extinct at this point but there's a, a fighting force that comes and protects them from the chimeras so you play as one of these two twins on the front cover really love this front cover guys if you see the japanese version of the collector's edition oh my gosh that cover edition is 
awesome. Uh, but this cover is really nice. I love it on the game. Um, on the back side, there is a lot of writing. There is a lot of pictures from the in-game play, but they do add characters on the side. They're not covered up by any writing, which actually does happen and you think it wouldn't. But uh, I really like this game cover case. So back into the actual game, we're going to open this up for you right now. You play as these two twins. You pretty much protect all of the earth uh, or that district or area that you're protecting, I'm pretty sure. And oh, guys, that cover art, I should have said it before. That is sick. Pretty sure this is the actual cover art on the Japanese edition. Um, but I, I just, guys, I'm floored by it. I'm really floored by it. Get out of here. Get out of here. I am floored by how this cover art was. Literally, probably some of the top cover art right here, guys. This overall was a really nice game case. Of course, it doesn't come with a manual, but you can put that manual aside and look onto the 152 page art book that they gave onto you. But uh, from this game, I guess we're gonna get onto the art picture that they have. I think it said there was only a 20,000 made here. Let's read this again so I can actually see. 23,010. I don't know why it didn't stop at 23,000, but uh, at the same point, I don't really care because uh, you get some awesome art along with uh, some of the greatest creators who created some of the coolest games. Uh, speaking of Nier Automa, I still want to play. The art in that is amazing. All three of the creators are down here. It says pretty much, thank you for purchasing Astral Change with this title we sent out to create a new kind of action game. And yes, guys, they did create a new kind of action game. This game is really fun. I'm so pumped to get into this. The picture came really nicely. There are no dings. The gold outsides, really nice. There's no scratches on the picture either. So this actually came out really nice. Compared to most uh, picture art that gets usually folded on the corners, I like how they gave it a cardboard like frame for it so it wouldn't get screwed up. And a nice little uh, addition by the creators themselves. Really cool, really cool thing to add on for the collector's edition. But I know this book is one of the main things you guys come here to watch, so let me open that up for you right now.
All right, guys. Well, that was my unboxing for Astral Chain, the EU edition. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got this sent to the United States, they actually have like a fake shipping address that you put in or where you live to make sure that you're from the EU. But then actually on the uh, address that you get it sent to, you can put on your home address. Now, make sure I'm pretty sure there might be a, a phone number you might put in, but you can do like 777, make sure the area code's just the EU area code. So that's how I got mine. Thank you to EJ Fanatic, uh, Erica on Twitter. Uh, she really helped me out on that one to figure this out i only got this game for 56 euro i think five euro shipping as well so maybe about like 75 80 dollars maximum us so i was really surprised about that especially since it came with a 152 page manual guys now that was some cool freaking stuff right there now i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing i hope you guys <laughs> I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and unboxings just like this one i hope you guys enjoyed astral chain as much as i have i'm gonna go play it right now after i get this unboxing video done for you guys i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you next time